Hello everyone and welcome to Movie Review UK. My name is MJ and this is a very very comfortable position to me to be for me to be sitting in. Uh, this is the scratch off guys. So this is the 100 movies bucket list poster where you scratch off when you've seen them. I'm sure you've probably seen it online. I know like two or three other people that got this for Christmas. I got it for Christmas from my boss. Thank you very much Fordy. Uh, I really, when I first saw this, I really, really wanted it. I thought it was an incredible idea, and then I completely forgot about it. So he got it for me for Christmas, so that is superb. Uh, I have seen a number of the films on this chart, but not all of them, not, not by probably half. So I'm really excited to be watching a lot of these films that I will do over the course of hopefully this year. My plan is to watch all of the films that I've not seen this year. We'll see if I actually manage that. I'm going to start scratching them off now. I'm not going to scratch off films that I have seen but can't remember at all. So any that I saw sort of pre the age of 13 or, or 14, I won't be scratching off. Um, yeah, so next thing to mention, I'm a total lad. What was I going to say then? Yeah, I can't really remember. Anyway, hopefully the zoom works in and I'm just going to start scratching off now. Shawshank Redemption, absolute classic. Wow, this is going to take a long time to scratch off. The Dark Knight, bloody love it. City of God, haven't seen. I think it's going to be my plan to watch them in order as you go through. So City of God, I'm going to try and make that the first film that I watch from this list. Pulp Fiction, bloody love it. I've also got a frame for this that I'm going to put it in as well. Amelie or Amelie, not seen. 12 Angry Men, probably one of the more recent ones I've seen on here. I bought it uh, last year. After I did my jury service, I basically became obsessed with crime. Not crime, that's weird. The law, juries. Oh man, these, these little icons are fantastic. Blade Runner, I've seen it, but I barely remember it, so I'm not going to tick that off. Clockwork Orange, not seen. Deer Hunter, not seen. Casablanca, not seen. I don't think anyone's really seen Clas Casablanca, to be honest. Oh yeah, I should definitely mention the reason why my boss got this for me specifically. Uh, I love films, as you'll know, I've got a movie channel which you're currently watching, but uh, he, he kept asking me if I've seen like films, he was like, have you seen Gladiator? I was like, no, like, and all these films, I kept saying no. So he, he knew that I was a massive movie fan, but it became this thing that was like, y y how are you such a massive movie fan when you haven't seen any of them? So um, it's an ongoing hilarity banterous thing at work. E.T., seen, phone home and all that. Wow, this is great. These icons are so well done. Up. Of course I've seen bloody up. Man, this poster is amazing. Just like, when this is all revealed, this is going to be so colourful and nice to look at. The Rocky Horror Picture Show, not seen. The Big Lebowski, have seen that fairly recently. Probably about five years ago I saw that for the first time. By the way guys, I'm using a 50 pence piece to, to scratch this off. It seemed like the most sensible thing. Office Space. Yes, I watched that uh, again. This, this was sort of me proactively doing film like I have I have tried to tick off films that are you know when if they're frowned upon when you haven't seen them I've tried to do that just proactively over the course of the last several years I've probably watched that about two years ago Fight Club great film there's some quite recent films on here as well to be fair like I've just seen in the line below there's Grand Budapest Hotel Snatch I don't think I've seen Snatch Certainly not seen Old Boy. I've not seen Leon the Professional, and I've not seen Scarface. I might have. I think I might have tried watching Scarface one time. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yep, I probably could do with a rewatch of the entire Indiana Jones series, but uh, I definitely saw them post. Uh, I mean, I, I, I basically remember them. That being said, I will rewatch them anyway. Lord of the Rings trilogy. Christ. Good thing I've seen them because that would have been about twelve hours of my life. I'll be signing up to. For one scratch. No, I, I do I love Lord of the Rings? Quite bloody like it. I'm not a massive fan of the two towers, but I like the other ones. Moonlight, didn't like it. That's really recent. Surprise that's on it. Didn't like it actually. The Matrix, bloody love the Matrix. In fact the Matrix was the first ever DVD that I bought. 1999, wasn't it? I remember um, we had a PC and our PC had a built-in DVD pack. So I was, I was actually quite ahead of the curve on DVDs. Apocalypse Now, not seen. Grand Budapest Hotel, not seen. Monty Python's Life of Brian, seen it, but pre-13, 14, so I'll need to rewatch that. In Bruges, um, not seen. Wanted, I added it to my Netflix. Three Idiots, 
No, I'm not even convinced I've heard of that. Godfather, tried to watch it quite recently. I'm not going to scratch it off because I'll try again. Notebook, not seen. The Lion King, yeah. Wow, there was like, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in a row there that I hadn't seen. Bloody hell. I bet, I bet you guys are all livid. I bet you're angry at this. Uh, Stand By Me, that's probably one of my favourite films of all time. The uh, song, Stand By Me, was my wife and I's wedding song. Wedding song, first dance. Um, yeah, love Stand By Me. Love Stephen King. Dirty Dancing, could probably do with a rewatch for Dirty Dancing, but I've definitely seen it. Uh, I, I saw it to death when I was a child, because it's one of my sister's favourite films. Um, I will rewatch it at some point, but I don't need to not scratch it off. Jurassic Park, yeah, bloody love Jurassic Park. Again, reiterating, the colours on this thing and the design is so sick. I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to put this up somewhere downstairs. 2001 A Space Odyssey, I don't think I've ever seen that. The Goonies, Wally, Wally. Groundhog Day, directed by Harold Remis, or Rem Remy, Remis, rest in peace. Groundhog Day, directed by Harold Remis, or Rem Remy, Remis, rest in peace. Star Wars Episodes 4, 5, 6, the Darth Vader saga, although arguably the uh, one to whatever is Darth Vader as well. Schindler's List, I saw that quite recently actually, didn't really like it, not many explosions were there, nah joking. Breakfast at Tiffany's, not seen, Shaun of the Dead, Back to the Future, I wonder, up the dramas, I hope I didn't just say that I don't like all the dramas, no 12, uh, Shawshank Redemption is arguably a drama, didn't like Moonlight, that's a drama, no Stand By Me is probably a drama isn't it, I'm not just this person who doesn't like dramas guys. Forrest Gump, this is going to be a surprising one, I haven't really properly seen that, Silence of the Lambs, yes. The Shining, Alien, Memento, I saw that fairly recently as well, probably about three years ago. I wonder how many Christopher, I wonder who the most common director on here is, probably someone like Nolan or Spielberg or probably Zemeckis, Zemeckis has got two in a row there. Seven, David Fincher, that might be another one, mightn't it? Halloween, saw that like a month or so ago, two months ago, not for the first time, seen it loads of times. I like it like it a lot. Quite dated, but it's, I like it. Jaws. Um, I'm not going to tick that off. <laughs> I know, this is going to get so many comments. I'm not going to tick that off because I've not properly seen it. Evil Dead, I've flat out not seen. Airplane, one of my favourite films of all time. Oh, what a great icon that is. An upside down plane. Mean Girls. Lawrence of Arabia, that's about 15 hours long, isn't it? Drive. I saw Drive, um, what, 10 years ago or whenever? Whenever it came out, I bought it on Blu-ray. Because I heard such, I didn't actually see it tomorrow, I heard such good things about it. Bloody hell, I thought it was dull as anything. Um, by Nicholas Winding Rev, and he, he said something that I found absolutely hilarious on um, film once, that was the most pretentious thing I've ever seen. He said, he said that, right, this is a genuine phrase, or quote, he said, uh, he was asked what, at what age was he when he fell in love with film, or something like that, and he said, I don't think I fell in love with film. I think film fell in love with me. <laughs> what twat. Uh, Casino Royal. Yeah, so Nicholas Winding Revan, or however you pronounce his name. I think he's worked with um, Ryan Gosling a few times, hasn't he? Ghostbusters, another one of my favourite films of all time. Rosemary's Baby. Oh, guys, we could have had a big square of ones that I've seen there, but I've not seen Rosemary's Baby. Mary and Max. Not convinced I've ever even heard of it. The Terminator, and now this is one, this was a really bad one. I only saw this a couple years ago, and this was one that I knew I had to, I knew I had to watch it, because I was just getting slated. Any time I mentioned that I hadn't seen Terminator, I was getting absolutely killed. The Green Mile, brilliant, by Frank Darabont, one of the co-original showrunners of uh, The Walking Dead. Rocky, not seen. This is Spinal Tap, not seen. American Psycho. Watched it recently. Probably watched it within the last year, actually. Uh, this is the icon for that famous business card scene. Citizen Kane. Not seen that. The Intouchables. I don't think I'd even heard of that film until I saw this poster. American History X. Really want to see that. Seven Samurai. That sounds cool. Gladiator. Uh, literally one of the films that Boss Man always uh, told me off for. And he lent me it the other day, so... Um, Done. Literally watched that, what, two weeks ago? Great film. The Good, The Bad and The Ugly, not seen. Brokeback Mountain, I don't think I've seen that. The Great Dictator, no. Toy Story, yes. 
God, I've accidentally scratched a little bit of the Great Dictator there, that's a shame. I feel like a great dip now. You got a friend in me. Uh, the Prestige, I, this is another one that all my friends absolutely love it and I get killed any time I mention that I've not seen it. Titanic, uh, Titanic is actually probably one of my favorite films of all time as well. Probably top 30, I'd say. Yeah, bloody love it. Romance, disaster, her, fuck me, talk about a good film. Yeah, her is absolutely insane. Her, 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 her is probably one of my favourite films of all time as well, actually. I've only seen it once. Got it on Blu-ray, watched it, boom. Should watch again sometime, but not before any of these. Boys in the Hood, not seen. Four Weddings and a Funeral. Yeah, classic. British. rom -com, would you call it a rom-com? It's almost, it's sort of almost the transition into like the gross-out teen comedies, really, isn't it? What is it, 1990? 98, 97, around that time I reckon it was. Little Miss Sunshine, uh, I have seen it and I think I've even seen it post 14, 15, but I was probably only around that age and probably didn't get it. I'm gonna rewatch that. Train Spotting, I have seen that. Watched that one probably eight years ago, I'd say. It was good. I had no, uh, when the second one came out, I had no, um, no great desire to watch it though. The Departed. Did I watch that literally the other day? I'm gonna have to pause on that one because I I think this is one of the, no, I definitely saw that. I'll double check, but I'm, I'm what's the gangster one? It's definitely that, it's definitely that. Uh, is that the, is the, the part of the one with Matt Damon when he's like the the long lost not son and he sort of gets in, uh, sort of like introduced to the family. Is it is it that one? I think it is. Saving Private Ryan, not seen. No Country for Old Men. What are you doing this, you quarter? This is a lucky quarter. Go put it in your pocket. Go put it in your pocket, this is a lucky quarter. Yeah, I love no country for old men. But that, what, actually, that's one of my favourite scenes of all time. Go put it in your pocket. It's a lucky quarter. Go put it in your pocket. The Pianist, no. Doctor Strange, love, no. Lagan, never even heard of it. Bar Barley, never heard of it. Psycho, scene. It's uh, Vince Vaughn, isn't it? No, joking, this is obviously the original. I have seen both, though. Right, we're on to the last row guys, the bottom row. Vertigo, not seen. Truman Show, have seen. Why is Good Burger not on here with Keenan and Kel? There's a lot of films not on here to be honest. Good Burger, Spy Kids, I think these are all bucket list films. Reservoir Dogs, bloody love it. Sort of implied it earlier but I bloody love, oh and that icon is absolutely sick. Sort of implied it earlier but I bloody love um, Quentin Tarantino. That, that might be the best icon. Fucking, that's tremendous. Amadeus, not seen. Enter the Dragon, not seen. Wizard of Oz. Follow the Albert Road. Follow the Albert Road. Follow the, follow the, follow the, follow the, follow the, follow the, Although one could argue that Dorothy should be wearing blue. Gangs of New York. Did I see, which one did I see? Because they're basically the same film, aren't they? Gangs of New York and The Departed. I'm 99.9% .9 sure I watched The Departed and I've not seen Gangs of New York. The Usual Suspects, that's another one of my pre-bucket list ones. Did that probably eight years ago or so when I realised I haven't seen any films. Uh, yeah, I really like it actually. What's his name? Sizer Goze? What's his name guys? Let me know in the comments below. What's, it, what, what's his name? Sizer, I'm sure it's like Sizer Goze or something. Spirited Away, not seen in Good Will Hunting. Not seen. So there we have it. Let's do the count. Oh, that's hilarious. Literally 50. I li literally have seen half of them exactly. That is mental. Oh man, that is crazy. I've literally seen half of them. Um, anyway, thanks again to Fordy for getting me this. Absolutely love it. Um, I'm probably going to do reviews for all of these films after I've seen them. Just very short sort of retrospective reviews, I guess, because most of them are pretty old. Um, cool. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know which ones you've not seen or no no actually that's gonna to be too long. Let me know in the comments below what your favourite films are that I've not seen are from here. Cheers.